in this series of videos we present to you 100 of the best wonders of india though not in the order of ranking please share your top 3 in the comment section the nandi idol at le pakshi is one of the largest unbroken statues in india it has a length of 27 feet and a height of 15 feet did you know about the hanging pillar at le pakshi the veerabhadra temple at le pakshi is known for its mysterious hanging pillar The pillar is attached to the ceiling but not to the floor. A paper or cloth can easily pass below the pillar. The Taj Mahal is considered the jewel of Muslim art in India and one of the universally admired masterpieces of the world's heritage. A total of 28 types of precious and semi-precious jewels are set in the marble. A popular conspiracy theory is that Taj Mahal was once a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. It was known by the name Tejo Mahalaya. Apparently, it was seized by Shah Jahan and was later modified as Taj Mahal. A total of 30 marvelous caves were carved out of this horseshoe shaped hill. These are the Ajanta caves. They are considered the finest jewels of art and culture in India. Each cave has spectacular sculptures and striking ceiling paintings. Ajanta is one of the first sites in India to be recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The monolithic cave temples at Mahabalipuram were built by three generations of the Pallava kings. It took 200 years to plan and create the site. The Shore Temple is the most prominent of them all. Mahabalipuram has been a major trade point between India and China since the 6th century. Mysore is commonly described as the city of palaces. There are 7 palaces in the city including the one in the old fort called Mysore Palace. A major attraction is the Darbar Halls which function as the ceremonial meeting halls of the royal court.
Gwalior Fort is an architectural marvel from the 8th century CE. Perched on the top of the hill, it gives a fantastic aerial view of the city. The second oldest record of number 0 was found in one of the temples inside the fort. Another interesting temple is the Sahasra Bahu temple popularly known as Sas Bahu temple. The island on which Elephanta caves are sited was originally called Gharapuri. It was the Portuguese who renamed it as Elephanta. Elephanta caves are made from solid rock. Trimurti Sada Siva is the main sculpture inside the Elephanta caves. The image 20 feet in height is that of three-headed Lord Shiva. Rudyard Kipling has aptly said it is a palace that might have been built by titans and colored by the morning sun. Do you know which palace he was talking about? Mehrangarh Fort is a spectacle of magnificence which is at 400 feet above the skyline of Jodhpur. This red sandstone fort is popularly known as the Citadel of the Sun. The Bimbetkar rock shelters are an archaeological site in Madhya Pradesh. It consists of 7 hills and over 750 rock shelters distributed over 6 miles. Some of the shelters were inhabited more than 100,000 years ago. They feature prehistoric cave paintings and the earliest are about 10000 years old. Adalaj Nivab is a step well located in the village of Adalaj near Ahmedabad. It is built in sandstone with large pillars that are intricately carved. This Solanki architectural wonder is 5 stories deep Let's take a look at the 1000 pillar Nayaka Mandapam It is the most famous attraction of the Meenakshi Amman temple at Madurai The temple is one of the largest temple complexes in South India containing about 33000 sculptures A lesser known fact about Meenakshi temple is the existence of a musical pillar in the temple The Amer Palace was built in late 16th century as a larger palace to the already existing home of the rulers. The entire structure took over 100 years to build. The 
the older palace known as Kadimi Mahal which translates to ancient palace in Persian is known to be the oldest surviving palace in India Qutub Minar is the world's tallest brick minaret till date It is 239 feet or simply 72.8 meters in height. The Qutub complex was originally a site of 27 ancient Hindu and Jain temples which were destroyed to construct the Qutub Minar. Kandarya Mahadev meaning the great god of cave is the largest tallest and the most ornate temple of Khajuraho Madhya Pradesh A myth regarding the temple is that it is filled with erotic sculptures The truth is there are a very few sensual ones Most of them are that of people from all walks of life. Have you heard about the acoustic effect at the Golconda Fort? Let me explain. A hand clap at the Fateh Darwaza dome which is at the entrance reverberates and can be heard clearly at the Bala Hisar pavilion which is the highest point of the fort almost a kilometer away the golconda kings were the first to export diamonds to the rest of the world as early as 13th century CE the mines owned by the kings were source for kohinoor nizam and hope diamonds did you know maharaja jay singh ii of jaipur constructed five jantar mantars in total Jantar Mantar is seen in five places New Delhi Jaipur Ujjain Mathura and Varanasi Jantar Mantar was originally named Jantra Mantra Jantra or Yantra means instrument and Mantrana means calculation therefore Jantra Mantra means calculation instrument Apart from its temple architecture, Bishnupur is also well known for the craftsmanship of its terracotta figurines, pottery, jewelry and other decorative artifacts. The Baja Caves are some of the oldest caves in India. Some inscriptions in the caves indicate they have been there for at least 2200 years. The carvings here prove that tabla, a musical instrument, was used in India at least 2300 years ago.